of the cerebrum, you have a line that makes almost like a sideways teardrop shape. This here is the corpus callosum. The hole in the middle that the corpus callosum surrounds is the lateral ventricle. And covering that hole, there is a little flap of tissue in the middle here. This is the septum pellucidum. Some of the brains that's, again, going to be missing because they picked at it. Okay? But it's a membrane that's right that covers the hole. See how it flaps there? That covered the lateral ventricle. It keeps the two lateral ventricles separate from each other. Right underneath the corpus callosum, you have space. That's the third ventricle. Underneath the, underneath the corpus callosum. So you follow the third ventricle towards the back of the brain, that whole space, and it goes down like a water slide. Mm -hmm. This is the cerebral aqueduct. And then if you follow the cerebral aqueduct down the brain stem, once you get to the cerebellum, the fourth ventricle is at the base of the cerebellum, and that's that little space. All of your ventricles and the cerebral aqueduct are all spaces, okay? It's not an actual structure. So the third the, is? The third is above the thalamus, mm -hmm. or below the corpus callosum, and the fourth is at the bottom of the cerebellum. Right beneath, here's your third ventricle. Right beneath the third ventricle, do you see the circle here? Mm -hmm. That circle is the thalamus. Next to the thalamus, you have another bubble. Okay, that's your capora quadrigemina. If you pull down the cerebellum just like you do for the whole brain, it you'll see it just like you do there, half a butt and half a boob, okay? The pineal is a little circle right in between the capora and the thalamus. It's right here. What was that? The pineal. The pineal is right in between the capora and the thalamus. Along the bottom of the half brain, that's the optic chiasma. Next to the optic chiasma, you have the mammillary body. And then next to the mammillary body, you have the pituitary. The mammillary body is right here. Okay. So this entire section here, the optic chiasma, the thalamus, the capora, the pituitary, this whole section is the midbrain. So after the pituitary glands, you have the pons. the medulla, and the spinal cord. Okay. And the very last two structures in the cerebellum, the tree, is your arbor vitae. The tree of life. The tree of life. Could you say it again? The tree in the cerebellum is the arbor vitae. And inside the lateral ventricle, you have a bundle of capillaries, okay? That's the choroid plexus. The choroid plexus is found inside the lateral ventricle, and that's what produces cerebrospinal fluid, okay? I also wanted to just do with you very quickly, now that you've seen all the parts, 
the pathway of CSF. Your practical is going to be set up just like the fetal pig practical. There will probably only be about 20 or 25 things to identify, but at the end you will have to list the pathway of cerebrospinal fluid. I'll draw a flow chart for you on the board, but I'm going to show you on the brain also, okay? So if we start, it's made by the choroid plexus, and that's inside your lateral ventricle. So from the lateral ventricle, the CSF goes through a little hole in the bottom, which is why that's broken, um, the interventricular foramina. And that leads to the third ventricle. Okay, so it goes from in here, down, and into the third. Okay, from the third ventricle, it goes down and around the cerebral aqueduct, and then down to the fourth ventricle. Okay. From the fourth ventricle, it can go two ways. It can go out a medial opening, or it can go out a lateral opening. The medial opening will just go straight down into the central canal of the spinal cord. But the lateral opening, over on the side, if it goes out the lateral opening, the CSF goes up into the subarachnoid space all around the brain. Okay. From the subarachnoid space, it leaves through the dorsal sinuses or the spaces in the dora mater so that it can go into the venous circulation and be uh, filtered out and discarded that way. But I will write it all down on the board for you. I just wanted you to be able to see the flow through the ventricles. Okay?